Hello, it's Sarah from Hardcover Hearts, and I'm here to announce my spring into summer reading buddy read project. Uh, this is where I'm going to be reading four 18th century British women writers, and I would love to uh, offer an invitation if you'd like to read along with me. I'll be setting up a Voxer account for each of the four books, and uh, we'll be reading one book per month, spreading it out through an entire month, reading about 100 pages a week. So if any of these books sound interesting to you, please consider joining. Uh, one prerequisite will be that you have a Voxer account. So uh, Voxer is a mobile app that you put on your cell phone and it allows for kind of like a walkie talkie type of, uh, of communication where you put your information in, you kind of speak into the microphone and leave a thought or your thought, collected thoughts and it will sit there until someone has a chance to listen to it. So it's really effective for this type of, of um, read along. And it is also a free app, which is, which is lovely. Uh, one caveat, I will be closing the group down as of the Friday before we start the Voxer group. And that is because once we start the group and start communicating, anybody new added doesn't get the benefit of seeing what's previously been discussed. And so then you have to re-explain re it every single time you add someone new. And I just don't think that's, that's a good experience for those who join early. So know that you can join all four or any that you'd like or not at all. I just wanted to put that out there. And I know there's some people who said they were interested when I talked about this in my 2020 Reading Aspirations video. Uh, so I, are, I already assume you're going to be joining. Um, please verify below if that's the case and which books you'd like to read. So that will be uh, something that we start very, very soon, starting in March. So what I'd like to do now is kind of talk through each of the four books, do a little tease up uh, and see if that piques anyone's interest. So the first book I picked, I'm kind of listing these in alphabetical order, choosing them that way. So this will be the March book we read. This is Evelina by Francis Burney. These are also, I should say, Oxford University Press editions. I, I think these are exceptional editions because they have introductions, textual notes, um, explanatory notes, bibliographies, all of that that really help to enrich the text if you're able to get a hold of these. Um, but other than that, I will be trying to stop it at chapter breaks that line up to around the 100 page mark. Uh, so we don't need to have the same edition in order to get the to, to stick, keep along with us. All right, so this book says uh, on the back, Francis Burney's first and most endearingly popular novel is a vivid, satirical, and seductive account of the pleasures and dangers of fashionable life in late 18th century London. As she describes her heroine's entry into society, womanhood, and inevitably love, Burney exposes the vulnerability of female innocence in an image conscious and often cruel world where social snobbery and sexual aggression are played out in the public arenas of pleasure gardens, theater visits, and balls. But Evelina's innocence also makes her a shrewd commentator on the excesses and absurdities of manners and social ambitions, as well as attracting the attention of the imminently eligible Lord Orville. Evelina, comic and shrewd, is at once a guide to fashionable London, a satirical attack on new consumerism, an investigation of women's position in late 18th century, and a love story. The new introduction and full notes to this edition help make this richness all the more readily available to the modern reader. So this is also, there's a sub, I think this is also has a, a different name as well. So it might have been let's see, let me see. But yeah, this is also known uh, as the history of a young lady's entrance into the world. Kind of love that. So that will be our March, uh, our March choice. Then for April, <clears throat> we will be reading Belinda. This is by Maria Edgeworth. This one says in Belinda, uh, written 1801, Maria Edgeworth's treatment of gender and race issues is as once comic and thought provoking. 
Braving the perils of the marriage market, Belinda learns to think for herself as the examples of her friends prove singularly unreliable. Edgar's varied cast includes the bewitching aristocrat Lady Delacour, whose dreadful secret puts her in the power of her volatile servant, the dashing Creole gentleman, Mr. Vincent, who almost succeeds in winning Belinda's hand, if not her heart, and the eccentric Clarence Hervey, whose attempts to create an ideal wife backfire. This lively comedy challenges the conventions of courtship, examines questions of female independence, and exposes the limits of domesticity. The text used in this edition also confront the difficult and fascinating issues of racism and mixed marriage, which Edgeworth later toned down. So that sounds fantastic. The next book, and this will be the May choice, is The Female Quixote, and this is by Charlotte Lennox. Also a gorgeous cover. This one says, brought up by her widowed father in a remote English castle, as one it does, uh, Arabella resorts to reading the French novels popular in her mother's youth. And in the solitude of this Arcadia, paints a picture of her life as adventurous and deeply romantic. When her father dies, however, she inherits a barbed legacy. If she's not to lose part of the estate, it appears she must marry her cousin Glanville. But Arabella has developed a different private code of conduct, which does not allow her to take any role but center stage in the drama of her own life. Her literary heroines are always in control. And then last, this will be for June. This is The Romance of the Forest by Anne Radcliffe. Also a very pretty cover. And this says, The Romance of the Forest in 1791 heralded an enormous surge in the popularity of Gothic novels in a decade that included Anne Radcliffe's later works, The Mystery of Udolfo and the Italian. But this book is set in a Roman Catholic Europe of violent passions and extreme oppression. The novel follows the fate of its heroine, Adeline, who is mysteriously placed under the protection of a family fleeing Paris for debt. They take refuge in a ruined abbey in southeastern France, where sinister relics of the past a skeleton, a manuscript, and a rusty dagger are discovered in concealed rooms. Adeline finds herself at the mercy of the Abbey's proprietor, the libidinous Marquise, whose attentions finally force her to contemplate escape to distant regions. Rich in allusion to aesthetic theory and travel literature, the Romance of the Forest is also concerned with the current philosophical debate and examines systems of thought central to the intellectual life of late 18th century Europe. So those are the four books that I'll be reading this spring. I really hope that you would consider joining me uh, and giving your insights and your thoughts as I read these. And um, that's it for now. Please comment below if you're interested in reading any of these with me. And I'll go ahead and set up the Voxer, the Voxer channels and, and get organized. Again, we will close each Voxer group uh, probably the Friday before we start. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me. Bye.